Hello again for a quick update. They have updated artworks and a lot of text. The website is now using a new links text to allow you to know what the links are, the arrows are pointing to. Bottom left, bottom right, still has the same text. This monster's artwork now looks a lot better. The attack and defense points hasn't been shown yet, but you have a close up image that works way better. You have a up close image of this monster. Up close image of Link Spider. We do not know its effect yet. I still think it might be two though. We have a close image of the random access memory cloud. It looks a lot neater and smoother. A lot more vibrant now. We have the new link monster that was shown but we could not read. Honeybot, light, cyber, link, effect monster, 1900 attack points. Mine, is it minus two? Let me just check. Oh no, it's just two link. If it's a minus two link then, I got confusing. <laughs> yeah, well, it didn't say minus there, but yeah, got it. Now I understand what it meant. Let me go back to where I was. Okay. Left and right, so you must be in the monster zone, or you can link to the monster on the left, if you can link to your opponents. One on the left, extra monster zone. Monsters that are linked to this card cannot be targeted or destroyed by battle. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. It protects all your monsters that you are linked together. You have that new normal monster. It is not a tuna, sadly. It is an earth cyber attack monster. It has 2000 defense points. So it can be used to shield you still, but it probably won't be to survive many battles. And I believe the starter deck. Uh, the. Oh wow. Got Now the Gaia and all this page has been updated with better images. So here's a better image of this Gaia Saber. Left, right, and left, down. Wow, I think I've actually seen this before. Wow, but yeah, I think I've dreamed of this. Oh my god. Wow, a flashback. Oh my god. I remember reading that before. Oh my god. Wow. Is a better image of the radiant bottom left and bottom right. It still does what it I uh, read it last time. It's a better image of the rescue freight. So you something like a level three and a three by shuffling this into the deck, or two and a four, or a five and a one. So you can easily jump into a level six synchro monster by doing this. There are the new lights one, but this one's called Twilight Swan. God, uh, damn it! <laughs> Twilight Swan General. Yeah, I'm not really good at reading things. Once per turn, you can banish one light swan monster from your hand or graveyard. Then type one face up monster on the field. It loses 300 attack and defense points equal to the banished monster's level times 300 until the end phase. Once per turn. If another of your light swans activates this effect, you can send two cards from your deck to your graveyard. So this is actually pretty cool. It can easily banish your light swans, and you can uh, you can easily send a few cards to the graveyard. It doesn't actually have an end turn effect where it sends them to the graveyard, which is probably I don't know if it's going to be the new theme of them. Actually, it seems like it. There's a new Judgment Dragon, which I showed last time, but the effect wasn't clear. Punishment Dragon, level 8 Dark Dragon type monster. It's a special summon effect monster. Oh, yeah, yeah that does make sense. Must be special summon from your hand whilst you have four more different banished lights for monsters. And cannot be special by other ways. So my guess is that they're making a dark 
sworn type of thing, type of effects. These monsters are going to be based around banishing different types, some them to like dark, a counterpart, like a evil counterpart to them. Once per turn, do you replace turn? You can banish from, uh, you can pay 1000 life points, return all face up banished cards and all cards in the graveyard to the owner's deck. So this literally just gets rid of the graveyard and the banish zone completely. So I don't know how this would be very impactful. It would be good against Skull Servants or other decks that lie on the graveyard, that to effects from the graveyard. But, and it's good for not decking out, I guess. It's just, would you use it in a normal Judgment Dragon deck? I don't know. It's a bit confusing, I guess. Once per turn, if your light swords once effect activated, you can send four cards from the deck to graveyard. So it seems like the newest dark type light swarm monsters do not actually activate effects during the graveyard and during the end phase. They activate when a can't when a monster effect is activated. So they kind of work and sound like link. <laughs> they like work simultaneously together. So all effects must be connected together to work. So if you activate this effect, if you activate its first effect, the other one would also activate its effect, and then this would also activate its effect right after. So you could actually accidentally send too many cards to the graveyard if you had multiples of these. As you'd be doing it before the end this, you can actually deck yourself out if you're trying to go for a game by paying 1,000 light points, shuffling them back. Then you activate more effects. Here's Castle Link. So this is a field spell for the Link Monsters, which I guessed correctly is a cool image of it. Looks like they're too bathing in sea, but the sea has a fireball and there's someone dying probably or going old. And there's a fish, and this think they're in the space, but I can't tell. Once per turn, during your main phase, you can target on Link Monster you control. Move it to a main monster zone on the your side of the field that is linked to it. I actually, wait, move to a main monster zone to yeah. I thought this would be an idea they would have the way you can move them from the. Extra, extra zone because of um, moving them around and you can link them in different ways different and then if you can move them from the extra you can summon M extra deck monsters I don't know if the new ruling on the extra deck doesn't allow you to summon like two exceeds like I overlay goes into extra zone and then I can't summon either again of exceeds or synchros because that monster's in the extra zone I don't know how that works I hope they don't have that ruling but we'll find out in the near future. Once per turn during your main phase, switch the placements of two linked monsters in your main monster zone or two linked monsters in your opponent's monster zone. Oh wow, so that kind of messes around with them and trolls them. It's like a, a stun card in a way, but in a way it doesn't. So if you're just in a non link deck, this would be maybe completely useless, well no, completely useless, indoubtably. So it's a good counter card to the links, but it also helps them out. And I believe that is absolutely all the news, just in case I'm gonna fastly check out all the other news. Got the door list, I was just on this one, I'm clicking it. Yep, I was just on this. Yeah, so I really like the new cards that they have created. They are way better than Pendulums. Pendulums were way too chaotic, I would say. So personally, I do like the new cards. That was amazing. Right. Oh, I'm totally using that in every deck, even if it's going to be completely stupid to use it in every deck. Just, I don't know how you're going to use the links properly because I don't know if you can link spell cards to the monsters because the monster's down. So, if it was the main monster zone, is it special to it? Would you be able to 
use the spell card as a link? That's the question I'm asking. So yeah, this is uh, the end of the video. Have a good day and have a good night.